Mantha Testa began experiencing her creativity and art at an early age with her grandfather, who was a skilled artist. Now, fast forward, she has been an artist her entire life and now uses Washington, D.C. as her inspiration. Gwen Talbert has the story. Gwen, this sounds like really interesting. Well, you know, it is very interesting. Not only is it interesting here, in uh, in Samantha's shop, but up and down the street here, this is actually Brooklyn Art Walk, Arts Walk, and there are so many different places out here that is just incredible. All dealing with art and creative things, and it's just a buzz, especially on the weekend. Now, if you look inside her shop here, uh, Right Stop Studio, you can see a number of things. Some things such as these, which are all engraved, and some you can even get personalized. But there is a piece of DC and just about everything. I'm going to take you back here into her shop where she is very busy working with her engraving machine. Uh, how exciting is it for you to know that you're inspiring others with your inspiration of DC? Uh, well, it's great. I think people think that DC is an underdog, but we have a great creative community, we have great restaurants, we have greenery history, we have it all. So I like to showcase that. And you showcase it how exactly? Through my paintings, through things as small as engravings of the DC outline, the DC flag, and also custom gifts. All right, and you have all kinds of different things that you offer here, from cards to watercolors, but also calligraphy. Yes. So I'm a brand activation calligrapher where I can go to different companies and give out uh, glassware as gifts, or I can engrave different materials for, as gifts. This is one example how I engrave in bulk for companies. Now, this is less customized but this helps me reach more people at once. I can engrave with my laser engraver a, a large amount of glassware in a short amount of time. All right, so once again, it can be customized. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the things that, that we'll see on your artwork in the shop that are representative of the district? You'll see a lot of the DC outline, recognizable, uh, the DC flag, which I try to create and make it to different um, forms. So for the Christmas time, I make an ornament that has three bulbs and two pine branches. So it's recognizable to locals, and people love shopping and, and buying local. Very nice. Let's have a look outside here uh, in your other area of your shop, because you've got watercolors, and uh, our photographer is going to show some of the work that you have here. You also have things for children also. I do, yes. So um, throughout the year, I hold coloring books uh, that are great for kids. We also have great activations throughout the year for different events for kids as well. You know, I got to say, adult coloring books, they're great for kids and adults. Mm -hmm. But I do have some specific children's ones throughout the year. And you have puzzles. Yes. Oh, this was big during the pandemic. And people still, puzzle enthusiasts are still purchasing ones, and especially because you can get your favorite place that really holds a special place in your heart and do it with your family. So you've taken watercolor art, you've made it into puzzles, you've made it into note cards. There's like so many different ones here. We see the stadium, we see the monuments, and of course those cherry blossoms. Yes, I have to do a cherry blossom every year um, by popular demand. Mm -hmm. But I do paint 12 new paintings every year that go into my DC watercolor calendar, and that's what drives my line of prints and cards. All right, now you also offer workshops. Tell me yes. about that. So I, I offer intro to hand lettering workshops, calligraphy, and then watercolor. Uh, coming up in August, I have my first one in a long time. I'll be doing intro to hand lettering at the Planet Word Museum. What I really found interesting is right over here, and this is the fact that you've taken your artwork and you've also made it into wrapping paper. <laughs> yes. So when I'm not painting DC landscapes, I'm painting my other favorite things, such as doors, cocktails, cheese. So I try to make it fun and interactive for people. So you have things of all different sizes. Now, how do people find you? Let's talk about your website and your social media. Of course. Uh, I find a lot of people through Instagram. Uh, it's at Right Place Studio. My website is rightplacestudio.com, and you can find all my events, all my shop, uh, newly released items, and you can also subscribe to the newsletter there. We'll, you'll get the first hint of different events going on at the shop, at the Arts Walk, and then across the city. So if you had to say that there was one particular thing that truly inspired you when you first started your artwork in the D.C. area, you've been here since 2008, I think you told me, mm -hmm. what would that be? It has to be the architecture. I, I love the different ornate 
nuances of the older historical buildings, but then also doors in Capitol Hill and uh, Mount Pleasant and just all the different spaces we have that have their own personalities. So how do you come up with something a little more different when you're looking at some of the things you have done in D.C. that maybe haven't been discovered yet? Oh, I take it off uh, a lot of the locals' requests. So I have a running list every year of the places that people have requested. So this year a new uh, location will be... I just painted the National Cathedral, so that hasn't been done yet, and by popular demand, it'll be released this year. All right. Speaking of popular demand, I know everybody loves the cherry blossoms, and yes. we know that's been one of your best sellers. Yes. But you also have a calendar that's coming soon, right? Yes. And that's where I paint those 12 new paintings a year, and uh, they can be repurposed as prints later on, too. But it's been very popular. This will be my fifth calendar. All right. So make sure you come to Right Place Studio and check it out. And I want to say congratulations to her as well. She's a new mom, uh, and she took the time. <laughs> to come out with us and so we're giving a high five to that little baby Thank Andy. You. All right. <laughs> come down here and get yourself a little piece of DC, guys.